Hi everyone, this is Dr. Anime Shaha and today we'll be discussing about hypopharyngeal cancer. So hypopharynx is a part of pharynx or throat which lies behind the voice box or larynx. So any cancer involving hypopharynx is called hypopharyngeal cancer. The most common cancer involving hypopharynx is called squamous cell cancer. According to Globocon data 2020, there are about 29,000 new cases of hypopharyngeal cancer in India in 2020, along with 12,000 deaths. The main risk factor for de uh, developing hypopharyngeal cancers include uh, alcohol consumption, uh, tobacco smoking, iron and vitamin C deficiency, occupational exposure to uh, asbestos, coal or wood dust. Patients are often asymptomatic in early stage and present late with the following symptoms like difficulty in swallowing food or pain while swallowing food, uh, pain in ear, uh, difficulty in breathing, uh, painless lump in the neck, etc. Whenever a patient with this symptom comes to us, uh, we uh, take a detailed history of the patient, we clinically examine the patient, we do some routine blood test, and then patient usually have a, a fiber optic uh, laryngoscopy or nasoendoscopic examination. And uh, most patients would need an examination under anesthesia and guided biopsy. Once the diagnosis of cancer is confirmed, we uh, do a CT scan of neck uh, along with chest to check for local extent and spread of the cancer. Sometimes patients when uh, contemplated for curative intent treatment, we do ask for a whole body PET CT scan. Uh, if there is any suspected neck gland, we often ask for the FNC from that gland to check for any cancer spread over there. In advanced stages, sometimes we ask for a PDL1 test to check uh, feasibility of uh, immunotherapy treatment. Based on the tumor size, extent, spread of the cancer to node or distant organ, hypopharyngeal cancer can be divided into four stages, stage 1 to 4. The treatment of hypopharyngeal cancer depends on many factors that includes patient's age, patient's general fitness, medical comorbidities, stage of the patient, etc. Treatment of early stage or stage 1 and 2 uh, hypopharyngeal cancer. Uh, very early stage hypopharyngeal cancer can be treated with surgery. Uh, when surgery is contemplated, transoral laser surgery or robotic surgery is often preferred over traditional surgery. Uh, otherwise, patient can be treated with radiotherapy plus or minus chemotherapy, which are equally effective treatment options. Treatment of locally advanced stage or stage 3 and selected stage 4 patient. This group of patients are usually treated with radiotherapy with a combination of chemotherapy. If the patient is unfit for concurrent treatment, sometimes we use radiotherapy alone. Surgery with total laryngopharyngectomy is sometimes used, but this is usually a very large surgery and morbid surgery. Patients end up having a permanent tracheostomy and long-term rails to uh, needed for feeding. And usually this kind of large surgery is avoided. When radiotherapy is contemplated, intensity modulated radiotherapy, which is also known by the name of a VMAT or Rapidarc, are preferred over traditional forms of radiotherapy. These techniques have shown to uh, precisely target the cancer with reduced dose to surrounding normal organ and thus reduce the side effect of treatment. Treatment of metastatic or stage 4 disease. This group of patients are incurable and the primary treatment at this stage is palliative chemotherapy or targeted therapy or immunotherapy or their combination. Sometimes patients might need a palliative radiotherapy for symptom control like pain or bleeding.
stage 1 and 2 uh, hypopharyngeal cancer can be cured with available treatment. Stage 3 cancer can also be cured but the chance of cure is less. Stage 4 cancer cannot be cured. The aim of treatment at this stage is to try to control the cancer, try to control the symptoms from the cancer and to try to improve the quality and quantity of life for the patients. Thank you for watching.